Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we are wrapping up the first four of the wave of new Boo Original Creep production of the original Monster High dolls back from 2010. And of course we are gonna end with Frankie Stein. Um, she is by no means my least favorite. I just, this is the one I ended up on. <laughs> so stay tuned as we look at her box, get her out, look at her details. And I definitely wanna know what you guys think. All right, so box first. Of course, we have this nice big open window here to see the doll and all of her accessories. The Boo Original Creep production little logo now that we are loving. Oh, it's What's It. He's so cute. Uh, Monster High logo there. And of course, we have Frankie Stein, daughter of Frankenstein. So original. I <laughs> love it. And I love that they changed that up for each of the dolls. I think that's pretty fun. Um, on the side, of course, we have Frankie's artwork. And then, of course, Monster High. And then on the back, if you'd like to pause and read it here, you certainly can. It does talk a little bit about the Monster High gals themselves. She is 15 days old, which is hilarious. Um, then, of course, it talks about her pet, her favorite food. She's still tasting everything. So that's kind of fun. BFFs are Dracula and Claudine Wolf. I feel bad. Poor Laguna has got like nobody. <laughs> no one's listing her as a BFF, but it is what it is. There's the artwork for the whole gang. Of course, what's it? And then Frankie herself. So, and I honestly think, I, I think of the artwork, Frankie Steins is my least favorite artwork. I don't know. She just looks a little rude. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess that's allowed. Of course, uh, there is her UPC. If you guys are looking for her in your area, go ahead and screenshot that and uh, see what you can find. Again, love the shape of these. Um, empowering the next generation through play. That is such a neat little logo. So yeah, I do like that quite a bit. So now we're going to go ahead. We're going to get the box open and get Frankie out. Okay, so we have Frankie out. And I tell you, she's like a little exact copy. It's so wonderful because I'm looking at my original Frankie that I have from 2010. And the only thing that's different is the stand color. This one is silver where the other one's kind of a more muted gray. But other than that, I would say she is spot on. Um, I'm going to look at the face molds here a little bit closer in another video to see if it really is the original face mold because we did, of course, get a different Frankie face mold as the years went by um, and to the point where they were like, cutesy Blech. um which hello monster high should not be cutesy face molds no, no no not that thing but anyhow um i'm loving this like she is this is this is amazing i actually remember seeing frankie stein in stores the original one back in the day just thinking oh that is so flipping cool and now i've got well i've got the hunk chur i've got two ogs and i've got this one and i need to get the like the other reproduction that they made i think like 2015 i need to get that one too maybe a few others Oh, golly. <laughs> oh, my Monster High collection is crazy fun. But anyways, first things first, we've got her brush. So, of course, we have the silver brush now for Frankie. Uh, Monster High skull logo, Monster High logo there. Wonderful teeth comb. And then we have her diary, which I hate that this happens to them because I put them over the stand in the box. So they end up getting really, really warped. So you kind of got to mess with it a little bit to kind of get that warping to go away. But anyhow, you can see it says Monster High, Frankie Stein. Why would anyone want to read someone else's diary without asking first? You know, you may be onto something there, girly or ghoulie or whatever you want to be called. That's, that is the darn truth. Anyhow, so I'm not going to read this, but if you do want to pause and read it, you certainly can. Like the others, I've just been kind of thumbing through, giving um, my viewers the opportunity to pause and read if they do wish to. So FYI, here is Frankie's diary. And that is that on that. And then, of course, we have What's It, her cute little Franken pup. Look at how adorable he is. I now have three of him. I've got this one, and then I've got two original ones. He is so darn cute. He is so darn cute. He got his little his little Franken wings and his little stitch up on the back and his little stitch on his patch eye and his little fangs. It's just a cute little dog. He's really, really adorable. Now, her other accessory, I'm gonna take it off here carefully, is her purse. So this is kind of a fun purse. It's very bikerish kind of. Like I think that's pretty cool, honestly. But it's black and then it's got this kind of maroon um strap on this on the uh, handles, handles, straps, whatever you want to call them. And then we've got the um, Monster High skull right there in the middle. I think that's pretty fun. I'm going to set that down now. Let's go ahead and grab Frankie here. She also, of course, comes with the amazing stand that they all come with. <laughs> this one is, like I said, more silver than gray like the original, but still nonetheless, there is Frankie's stand that I just dropped. Boy, sometimes I have luck with those, sometimes I don't. Now, this is where the biggest difference come in with this Frankie as compared to the original, original Frankie. Um, this 
is so much better. My two OG Frankies that I have have glue seepage that is just disgusting. So I have the tools necessary now to clean that up and make it better. I just got to get to it. I haven't done that yet. Um, but they, ugh, they're gross. They're so sticky. It's nasty. This is just super, super soft, super nice. Um, it's a mix of like a white cream and black. So of course it's going to give you kind of a mixture of grays in there too, as the hairs blend together. Um, but I do love her rooted hair very, very much. She has a small bit of it pulled back there on a ponytail. Whereas if you wanted to, you could probably push that rubber band up a little bit to give her maybe a little bit more of a bump here in the front if you wanted to, but I'm going to leave mine just as is. She does have a wonderful face mold here. I love that she has two different color eyes. So cool. Blue and green. We have little Frankie stitch right here. We have purple eyeshadow. We have the monster high skull drop earrings there. And then of course, since she's Frankenstein's daughter, we have the um, the staples and then the, I can't remember what those are called now. My brain just died. But you know what I'm trying to say there um, on the sides of her neck, which I think is fun. Um, the little bolts, there we go. Um, coming down, she does have a reproduction of her original outfit. Um, so it's a beautiful blue, silver, red, black plaid with a little netting uh, sleeves there there on the uh, under the collar she has a tie with a um monster high skull logo little tie tack there at the bottom she has a rubber belt here which has a lightning bolt which i think is fun because you know electricity brings them to life some chains um the dress is one piece so it's not like a skirt and, and a top it is a one piece dress so you can see there it is velcro in the back she does have a little bit of tooling underneath and then coming down she does have on um, her iconic black and white they remind me of beetlejuice um black and white heels here so and of course they're open in the back for easy on easy off and she does have of course painted on her legs the um staples of course to put her together as well as on her arms she also has this really cute little blue and silver uh, arm band there so frankie is amazing i love frankie she's not my favorite dracula is still my favorite but i love frankie like i don't know i think it's just because like she's the She's the one that everyone thinks of when they think of Monster High. At least everybody I know when they think of Monster High, they think of Frankie. Um, so, you know, I mean, it is what it is. But yeah, she's wonderful. So posability for her, of course, we have full rotation at the head. Uh, we have a ball joint at the arm, or excuse me, at the shoulder. So that kind of can go in and out and all around. Same at the uh, elbow here. So um, you can bend and swivel and pivot all you want. And with the hand... So poseability with these is just wonderful. Um, the legs, of course, we have the plastic joints now. You can see there, there's no more elastic. So you can go all the way around if you want to, um, back and forth at the knee, and then they also swivel. Um, and of course, nothing at the ankle there, but yeah. So that is Frankie Stein from the Boo Original Creep Production 2022 Monster High release. Alrighty guys, well that is gonna wrap up my review of the first four, as well as a Frankie for the Boo Original um, Creep Production Reproduction 2022 Monster High line. Uh, I know there's more coming. I've seen a couple of like sneak peek photos um, of Clio, so that's exciting. Cannot wait to get my hands on a Clio. Um, so we're hoping, you know, that those release here pretty soon. If you guys have any questions about this doll, any other doll that I've shown or any other thing on my channel, by all means, please leave those comments down below. I'll be more than happy to address them as soon as I possibly can. Um, don't forget to hit the subscription button if you haven't already, as well as that notification bell. I do try to post a video at least every day, if not every other. It uh, just kind of depends on what I've got going on and what I've got to show you guys. So just an FYI there. So make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss out. And yeah, we'd love to have you guys join. So again, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you're having an extra magical day or a spooky one. Because, and we will see you real soon.